Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. Well, I guess I'm not having any music tonight because I did not bring my phone back that has that and it's in my living room, so it's okay. Uh, it'll probably be in my head. I usually have songs in my head anyway. Okay, so today is part two of what we started last night, which was uh, reasons to read the Bible daily. So today we're going to do 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Um, I, didn't, I don't appear to have done 15 last time. I don't know. Okay, so I hope you had an awesome, awesome day today. I did. I had a pretty busy day today. Uh, but got a lot of things done, so I'm good. I didn't burn my green beans that I was making a while ago, so that's good because a lot of times I get busy and get in another room and forget that I'm cooking. So, anyway, it's all good. It's all good. So, I want to jump into prayer. And, uh, yeah, let's pray. God, we just come to you, and we are so thankful again for your word, God. It is so awesome, and it is just everything that we need. We need it for wisdom and for learning, and so we can teach others, we can share with others. Just everything is in your word that we need, God, so we thank you for that. And we just pray, God, for all the sick people that we know. I know a sweet lady in our church that's sick. God, I just lift her up to you. Pray for healing for her. Um, there was, I had another, somebody on Facebook had an unspoken request. I want to lift that up to you also. And God, we just pray for strength and healing for people. And we pray that you would be with their family members and give them strength. We also pray for the lost, God. We pray that you would open um, their eyes and ears to the truth and that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they can be saved. We also pray for the prodigals, God. We pray for the prodigals to repent of their sins and to come, come home to you, God. We pray for all the disasters. I don't even know what's been happening today because I've been working today. So, um, but whatever's been going on, God, just please be with these people and uh, let them feel your presence during their time of need. We also pray for all the people that have lost loved ones. We just pray, God, that you would uh, give them peace, comfort, and strength, and that they would feel your presence, God, that they would remember their loved one, and uh, know that they are in perfect peace right now. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, so I'm a little distracted today, but I, I don't think I want to talk about it. I want to, though, I want to share what I wrote this morning on Facebook. <laughs> Did not get this set up before I started this, so I have to do it like this. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. All right, so today um, I woke up, and this is just kind of how God works with me a lot of times. So I woke up, and um, I had an awesome night's sleep. I was so thankful. I was thankful and grateful when I woke up. Anyway, I woke up and um, my verse on you version, which I explained last night how I do my quiet time and everything. I'm a very systematic person. I do every everything has a system in my life, and I usually stay to it until I can find something that I like better. 
Anyway, so my U version today was Psalm 119. Well, guess what we read a lot of last night? We didn't read all of it, but we read a lot of Psalm 119, which is just packed with all kinds of good things about God's Word and God's statutes and God's commandments and everything. So, I think Wednesday... We're going to end this by reading all of Psalm 119 because I think it will tie just a nice little bow on what we're talking about, about reasons to read the Bible daily. So, um, anyway, to me that was confirmation that what I talked about last night is what God wanted me to talk about. That's just kind of how He works with me. He gives me confirmation. Uh, when I'm obedient, he gives me the confirmation. Okay, so the song that I shared today was um, Thy Word is a Lamp Unto My Feet, which that was the, that was the verse, that was my daily verse uh, within Psalm 119. I'm not sure if we read that last night or not. I kind of think that we did. Um... But anyway, I thought that was really neat. So I read all of Psalm 119. So tomorrow we will read all of Psalm 119. And I am going to be out of town Thursday and Friday. So I will not be here. And I have declared this spring break for uh, me and my son. I think it's Glen Roses, but I'm not sure. But it is spring break for us. So I am going to, um, I won't be here Thursday and Friday. I'll probably be back on Saturday. Um, I'll probably be back, I may be back Friday sometime. I don't know. Anyway, I want to read this to you and I just wanted to say that I want to read all of Psalm 119 on uh, Wednesday. No, tomorrow. Tomorrow's Tuesday on tomorrow because I'm finishing up this tonight okay all right I think I got it figured out now I'm gonna write it down though so I don't forget I'm writing it on my calendar okay so um, this is what I said this morning Amy Grant was one of the first Christian singers that I listened to when I got saved uh, nearly 30 years ago it'll be 30 years in May May the 14th um, I have always loved this song and message by her and many of her other songs too. Today, this was my morning verse and you version, Psalm 119. I read all of it today. God's word for teaching, preaching, learning, and sharing with others, full of life lessons and instructions. God's word says, read it for wisdom and understanding. I see so clearly how history is repeating itself right now all around the world. I feel like these repeating history maybe would not if they took the time to read God's Word. If they would at least skip to the end and read Revelation, they might repent because what is to come for these will be horrific. Now is the time of salvation. Time is running out, though. Wow. God, through all the, all the many disasters we see, is reaching out to His children to come into a, a relationship with Him through Jesus. God wants none to perish, and that is why He came to, to us as Jesus to show us love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Do not wait. Do not be left behind in the tribulation. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Alright, that's all I'm going to read of that. The rest of it is... Um, what I cut and paste to put on there every day. Okay. So that's how I wanted to start off. Is 
God giving me a confirmation for what I wasn't sure if I was supposed to do this yesterday but he confirmed it for me today no it's not a coincidence everything with God is not a coincidence it is his perfect timing and his confirmation when we do what he wants us to do okay so let's get our Bibles out and let's start in Hebrews and it says to know what's really in your heart Hebrews 4:12 I really I don't know who I don't know who did this I don't think it was even me that printed this off I think that this came from one of the ladies that I do gel ministry with but I sure do like it I sure do like it Hebrews 4 12 I wish I wish I knew where they got it on the internet so I could give them credit but there's nothing on here that tells me that okay 412 for the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart so that is what the Word of God is it is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword so God's Word is powerful you know God spoke a lot of miracles into being and so did Jesus Jesus spoke them too so the words are powerful God's words this is all of God's words all of them because he inspired these writers he um, this is uh, God breathed information thought my child was coming in here but I put doodle bops on him on for him tonight if you don't know what the doodle bops are you are really missing out they are very talented okay so um, the next one will be to build faith Romans 10 17 Romans 10 17 I went too far So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So when we hear the Word of God, like we just got through reading in Hebrews, it cuts us to the core. It cuts us to the core. And um, it's very, very powerful. God's Word is very, very powerful. Well, I lost my place. I am so sorry. 1017. Yes. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. You know, that is what God is waiting for. He is waiting for the gospel to go to the ends of the world he is waiting for that last person to get saved and then he's sending Jesus to get his church but he is waiting for that last that last person to be saved then the harvest is complete or this harvest this harvest is complete And then it says also in 19, But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses saith, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people, and by a foolish nation I will anger you. But I say, us, is very bold, and saith, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. 
But to Israel he saith, All day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. That is, that's how God feels. Because God is reaching forth his hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. And so that's how he feels because just like John 3.16 says, God, God wants none to perish. He wants none to perish. He wants everyone to come into his kingdom. He wants everyone to get saved through Jesus. He wants, there's not anyone that is not invited. Everyone is invited. Okay. So, I, I don't know. I felt compelled to read down to 21. And I'm glad I did. Because that was good. Okay, so number 11 is to have joy. And that is in Psalm 1611. So, uh, Psalm 1611 says, Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. So, you know what? Through God's Word, God's Word is, is the path. We have to read the Word. We have to learn the Word. We have to ask the Holy Spirit to explain things to us sometimes because I don't know about you, but sometimes I read something and it makes absolutely no sense to me. But the Holy Spirit will help us understand. We have to pray for Him to help us understand. Okay, so 12, to understand God's power. Um, John 1, 3. John 1, 3. So this is just falling all into place today. John 1 3 says, All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. And uh, John 1 1, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. I don't know why they didn't do... I think 1 through 3 is better. So in the beginning was God's Word. You know, God God spoke everything into existence. That is how... That's how He created things. He spoke them into existence. And uh, 13, to have more life in this life. Psalm 119.50. So we're back to Psalm 119. Whoops, I went too far. 119, which has 176 verses. Um, but I, I want to read it tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of reading. It is split up in little areas, though, and I kind of like that, too. Okay, I'm just going to read uh, 49 also, and I'm just going to read this little part. Remember the word unto thy servant, upon which thou hast caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, for thy word hath quickened me. The proud have had me greatly in derision. Yet have I not declined from thy law. I remembered thy judgments of old, O Lord, and have comforted myself. Horror hath taken hold of me, upon me, because of the wicked that forsake thy law. Thy statutes have been my songs in thy house of my pilgrimage. I have remembered thy name, O Lord, in the night, and have kept thy law. This I had because I kept thy precepts. Okay, so I was looking to see if... Yeah, we did read that last night. About thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. We did read that. Okay, so to have more life. 
to have more life in this life. To distinguish good from evil. Psalm 119, 101. 101 to 2. Um, I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me how sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. That is really good. To distinguish good from evil. And the Holy Spirit helps us do that too. He helps us have that discernment. Okay, is this good? Is this not good? Um, how do I feel about this? I mean, He will do that for us. Okay. So, the last one is 15. To understand God's love for you. And that's going to be John 1, 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and truth. So, the word was Jesus. Jesus came and dwelt among us. And he was full of grace and truth. So that concludes that. But if you think of any uh, scripture that you think goes with this lesson, then please put it in the comments. And put anything in the comments that you want. You know, I don't like your t-shirt tonight. Hey, your lipstick looks really stupid. You know, I don't really care. But if you would like, put something in the comments. We can start a dialogue. Okay. So I am working on something. I am, and, and this is not something that... I haven't thought about doing before. Um, this is something that maybe I've procrastinated about. But I'm very... I'm very passionate about ending human trafficking. And I can't go out there and do anything. But what I can do is I can share information. And I can make people aware. And so I am going to make some bracelets like this with the words. I don't know what words I'm going to put on them yet. And um, I'm going to sell them and I'm going to give the proceeds to I think every month I'm going to give proceeds to uh, a different organization because I think there's probably 12. I know of at least 5 or 6. I'm sure there's 12. But I just feel compelled to do something and since I don't make a lot of money personally and um, I just want to I want to take my time to do something that could help so that's what I've been thinking about it's like God has brought this subject to the forefront again Excuse me. And a lot of times I push it away because I don't like this subject at all. But my prayer is that we wouldn't have to have these conversations and that all the people that break the law and do these horrific things to innocent children, teens, and young adults, and maybe older adults too, um, that they would be in jail and that these people would be free so I'm thinking about making a bracelet um, freedom but I want prayer 
somewhere on there too, either a prayer emblem or um, so I'm working on a design. I got some stuff today. I got this fake leather stuff that I like to do these on. And uh, I think I'm going to do it pink and blue. And um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm praying about it. So I have my End It Movement t-shirt on. Freedom Fighter again because God really brought that out in the forefront today. To me. To me personally. And so since last Friday, since I had that incident, you know, here that I described, um, I've just really been thinking about it a lot, that I really do want to do something to help. I really do want to um, raise money for awareness. I'm not even sure how I'm going to do it. But I really... When I quit my job and started doing ministry, I kind of had that in mind anyway. I wanted to do t-shirts and I wanted to sell t-shirts. Well, with COVID, that just did not work out right. And so maybe this is a new year and uh, maybe this is something new that I can do this year. But I did have my quiet time this morning. It was more like afternoon. But it was early afternoon. It wasn't as late as it was Sunday. Sunday, it was Sunday evening. I don't know where my day went that day. No, it wasn't Sunday. It was Saturday. Saturday of all days when you have plenty of time. But anyway, this was today. Good afternoon, God. Good afternoon, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, of new opportunities to share my truths and the gospel of Jesus. A new beautiful day, child, of new beginnings. And I said, thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings, of new opportunities to share your truth in the gospel of Jesus. Thank you for a new, beautiful day of new beginnings. And I said, help me to focus on you, and thank you for the new idea to share truths about human trafficking. Help me with an awareness band to sell, to give to organizations. So that's what I want to do. I want to create an awareness band. Um, it may have awareness on it. I don't know. Pray for awareness. I don't know. Pray for freedom. I don't, I don't know. Um, at one time, uh, when I did the end it night or whatever I did on the shine the light on human trafficking, I had written something down. I think it's in here in my notebook. But anyway. And he said, Child, as you do what you need to, I will help you for this new program of awareness. There are many events taking place today, good and bad, child, so be aware of what is going on. Listen only to my messengers of truth. Many truths are rising over the lies told to so many. When the people hear all the truths, they will be awakened and will make a stand for what is right. They are the majority. The polls are not correct. So the polls that you see are not correct on popularity. That's all I'm going to say about that. The truth lies in the people themselves. So the truth lies in us. We the people. We are the ones that have the truth. Corruption never wins and soon has to end badly. I have given you the disgust for human trafficking, which he has. I'm, I'm disgusted by what I know. And I think I'm ready to do something about it. I'm, I'm ready to go and speak about it. I'm ready to um, share what information that I have. And I know some people don't even want to face the truth, but it's the truth, and it needs to end. It really needs to end. Uh, which is a big part of the corruption. Many... Many... 
can't read my own writing. Isn't that so bad? I don't know many people. Oh. Many. Wow. I don't know what this word is. But many are being... Oh, many pockets. Many pockets are being lined to look the other way. And that is so true. It's in the judicial system. It's in some law enforcement. It is, you know, they are being paid to look the other way. It is, it is a multi-billion dollar industry. That it is the fastest growing industry in the world. Many people are being paid to look the other way. The Holy Spirit gave you the discernment on Friday to remind you how, mu how, how much how they operate. Do what you can to make people aware of the truth. So I think once a week I'm going to share something on Facebook. I realize there's days, there's months for this. I think every day people need to be aware. I think we need to be louder than once once a month or once a year. I think we need to be a lot louder than that. And uh, I really want to help some of these um, ministries that do this because it's more than um, them finding the kids and freeing the kids. It's about rehabilitation of the kids, too, because they have to be rehabilitated. Some of them, that's all they know. That's all they know. They were born into it. And uh, some of them have been drugged. And so, anyway, I, I want to do something. I want to commit to doing something. And I know it might not make that much difference. But maybe it will. Maybe it could save a kid from being abducted. Maybe it could make a parent or a grandparent more aware of what goes on on the Internet. A lot of this is done on the Internet. And a lot of it seems very innocent, but it is not. And a lot of people are on the internet grooming your kids to get them out of your house so they can take them and you'll never see them again. So anyway, it is very important. It is very important and I am not going to put it on the back burner anymore. I'm going to keep it in my forefront. And I'm going to continue to pray about... Um, them rescuing kids okay so I said thank you God for meeting me this afternoon and reminding me of this atrocity that happens to our innocent children I love you with my whole heart soul mind and strength give my mama and daddy a hug God I love you too my child now go be obedient to all that I ask today the reunion is soon but many must choose and many must return. So he's talking about many must choose Jesus as their Savior. Many uh, prodigals must repent and return to the relationship. So keep sharing my truths in my word in the gospel of Jesus. The reunion will be so wonderful, child. The glorious appearing of Jesus is soon. That's the rapture. And I said, Maranatha, God. So I'm ready. I don't know where my friend Josie is. I'm kind of lonely. I have, I have no one live to talk to. But that's okay. I'm good with it. I am just being obedient. I am, I am nobody or nothing. But God wants us as his children to share the gospel with others. To share his truth and his word with others. So that's what I feel like I'm called to do. And the reason why I call 
uh, my ministry, Awesome Treasures Ministry, is because years ago um, on YouTube, I started uploading videos, lyric videos that I made to learn songs. And so I already had that. So I just added ministry on the end of it. And it's not saying that I'm awesome. It's saying that to God, we are all awesome treasures. He loves us above everything. He loves us so much that He sent Jesus. He sent His Son to die for us. That's how much He loves us. So, I am going to uh, invite someone into salvation. I can't save anybody. It's all Jesus. So God's invitation into his heaven. Have you ever been invited? The time is now to respond to his invitation. Repent and turn to the one true God. There is only one God and it is God Almighty. Okay, as it is written, there is none righteous, no not one. Romans 3.10 Excuse me, I need a drink of water. I so wish that was coffee, but I want to sleep tonight. Uh, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 But God commandeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5.8 for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6.23 Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. John 14.6 That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10, 9 through 11. For whosoever, I'm a whosoever, are you? For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13. And so for salvation through Jesus, our reward is that we are in heaven. Either after we die or uh, we are taken in the rapture, but we are in heaven with Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit, the angels, in a land of perfection. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. Revelation 21, 2 through 3. So this is the prayer. Well, this isn't the prayer because you can do your own prayer. It's not the prayer that saves you. It is the belief in Jesus that saves you. But this is just an example of a prayer. So I'm going to leave space so you can repeat after me if you would like. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus is God's one and only Son. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. You were buried for three days and rose from the dead. I believe you ascended to heaven and are preparing a place for me. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and my life. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Clean my heart and help me to glorify you.
In your name I pray. Amen. So if you said this prayer and you were sincere about your belief in Jesus and who he is, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. The angels are rejoicing in heaven and your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus, His Son. And so, Christianity is a journey. And so, in order to learn more about um, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, then um, read God's Word every day. We've been talking about reading and having a quiet time. Just pick a time where it's quiet. Some people like to do their quiet time before they go to bed. Some people like to do it in the morning. Some people, the only time they have to do it is at lunch. So just pick you a time that works for you. Pick you a place. Pick you a special place. And it's the only place that you meet God in. That's what I do. I have a special place. I have my favorite place where I meet God every day. And uh, pray. Pray to God and also praise. Find you some praise music. Find some good lyrics that will go into your brain and into your heart. thought I heard somebody at my front door. I'm always hearing things while I'm back here. I'm in, I'm in the back. Okay, well, I think I did everything that God called me to come and do. Tomorrow night, we will do Psalm 119. And we may do half of it, because it's very long. And so we may do the other half on uh, the 10th. There's 176 verses. So that would be hmm, 50 plus 30 something, I guess. I don't know, maybe 40, not quite 40. Yeah, 30 something. All right. Somebody else can probably rattle that number off really quickly, but I can't. Um. I could get my calculator out and figure it out, but we'll we'll just we'll split it up later. Okay. I am going to go ahead and pray. Oh first I gotta do God's blessing to you from numbers. He wants to bless us. And God loves us so much. Um, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. We need lots of peace. There's really some interesting things going on right now in our country. And uh, we need to just focus on God. Focus on Jesus. Focus on the Holy Spirit. Focus on God's Word. Uh, focus on doing what we can do and not worrying about the things that we can't control. So, I am going to pray and I'm going to get off of here and I'm just going to do a very generic prayer. Um, I prayed about people that I knew about to pray for. I'm just going to do like a generic prayer. God, we just thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you for all the many things that you do in our lives, God. The protection that you give us, the provision that you give us, the blessings, the opportunities that you give us, the new opportunities and the new mercies that you give us every day, God. We just thank you. We thank you and we praise you and we know that you are on your throne and you are in control and there is nothing that you do not see or hear. There is nothing hidden from you, God. So we just pray that um, 
you would help us to be more in your presence, to read your word more, and to testify to all the good things that you've done in our lives, and to encourage others, God. God, there is just so much going on right now, but we trust, we trust you fully. And uh, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. I think I spit on myself while I was praying. So if you saw spit flying, I guess that's what was going on. I don't know. I don't feel anything on my arm. That was weird. Maybe, oh, here it, it went on my calendar. It didn't go on my arm. It went over my arm on my calendar. It wasn't much. Okay, well, God bless you all and your families. And abundantly, abundant blessings from God. And, um... Have an awesome rest of your evening and an awesome tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Got all my stuff done today. I'm going to be working on my house the rest of the week because it's spring break. And uh, I'm going to get rid of a bunch of my kids, my son's stuff, like toys and stuff that he doesn't play with. They're, they're going to the thrift store this week. That's going to be my accomplishment this week. All right. Well, much love and uh, cyber hugs until I see some of y'all. And uh, good night.